Welcome back to the farmhouse. It's raining. And I took the day off of work to pour a cement slab. Well, I don't know. It's supposed to stop raining around 7. Right now it's like 6 in the morning. You know, why sleep in? Um, I've never poured a cement slab before, so this should be fun. This is also a review, because, I mean, tools and stuff. I had to buy a cement mixer. I went down to the Harbor Freight, and I bought the little red cement mixer. It does one and a quarter square foot, cubic feet, sorry, cubic feet. And it wasn't expensive. It wasn't cheap. It'll do two bags of, two 60-pound bags of cement. So I think I'm going to try one, and then if I think I can get more in there, I'll do more. And the instructions were awful. The instructions were take this part, that part, and put them together with this bolt and that bolt. But there was no part list. I mean, there was a list of how many parts you got, but it didn't show you what was what. It didn't tell you the length of them. Like this, you got six of these screws and seven of those screws, but they didn't tell you what the difference was. It, you know, stuff like that. They had a couple pictures, but they weren't very good. There was an exploded view, which was nice. But, I mean, I've worked and built on engines and stuff like that. And this was, it was, it was awful. It was probably the worst instructions I've ever seen. So, if, if you're going to put one together, at least take, take the time to, like... I had to take some bolts out because they looked like they went there. But then, they at the end, it didn't work at the rest of the application let me show you what I'm talking about so one and a quarter cubic foot cement mixer central machinery so that's what it's supposed to look like on the box I know it's raining this is gonna be loud and that's what it does look like it's nice and shiny but it won't be after I'm done with it you plug it in it's just got an electric motor in there the shaft and then makes this thing spin The dump is just these little grooves. There's a spring in here. So you pull this out and you can move it. And you could actually go full 360 with it if you wanted to, which is good because I'm, I'm just gonna be mixing it out there and just dumping it. I bought a pallet full of cement. I did the math. We're gonna be really close on this. If I did the measurements correct, I should be able to get all that on there, screed it out and then trowel after. Like I said, it's raining right now, but it's supposed to stop at seven. And of course I have more than just the rain to deal with. Get out of there. Well, it was supposed to stop raining at seven. It's eight, it's still raining. And it's supposed to rain some more later. Tomorrow's another day. I can get some other stuff done around the house. Well, it's the next day and it's not raining. So, and there's no rain in the forecast. So I got all set up, I got my stuff. I got my form set, I got my mixer, I've got hose ready to go. I got a two before for some screeding. I got my, you know, thing ready to go. Um, I got a rake to push, push stuff where it needs to go. So I was gonna do rebar, but then I said, well, I got chicken wire, I'll put chicken wire in there. And then I'm thinking, if it's going to crack, chicken wire is just not going to stop it. This is only an 8x8 eight eight form. I've never done this before. This is not a how-to. This is a, what am I doing, you know? <laughs> I'm wondering the same question. What am I doing? I'm just going to pour some concrete in here, and if cement, uh, there's a difference. There is a difference. Anyways, I'm just going to pour it in here and see what happens.
it takes a little while it has to mix and I'm only getting one bag at a time so this might take a while
Oh, stop working already. Two bags in. And so on and so forth. So that's what it looks like after the first trowel. It's really wet. There's water pooling up. I should um, drag that so that water starts going somewhere else. While we're waiting for that, we're going to fill these up with cement. That way they're not going to move. Eh, best laid plans, huh? All right, so when I started, what I was doing was a, I was adding water. How do I move this? Oh, it's upside down. I was adding water, then putting it in. I was putting, you know, pouring the cement in there, and it was just getting stuck in there. It wasn't moving, so I switched to going on the first first notch here. There's a notch here, and there's notches over here, but these are, one's higher and one's lower for some reason. Either that or I wasn't level. I don't know. But I would, there's like a little indent in here. I don't know if you guys can see there's like a little boob sticking out of there. So I was filling it and covering that down in there. And yeah, now you, now you can see it. I would just get the water to above there, put it on the first notch, start it. And now all my water's sloshing in there. Take a bag of cement, cut it in half, start pouring it in there until I saw it getting thick. I did pour it a little watery because I'm, I had to do all of that and I didn't want it to start drying before, you know, I got finished. So I made it kind of soupy. I hope it doesn't ruin the project. But So now what I'm doing is sitting over this slab, making sure ducks don't walk in it. There's already leaves in it. There's a little bug trailing his way through there but um, what i'm getting now is bleed through the water's coming up out of the surface and then i have to wait for it to evaporate then i can take my trowel and i can trowel it it'll be a little harder and then i can get a nice smooth surface that's what i've read so far that little red mixer did an okay job i mean it you know for the price i think i spent 130 maybe with tax 140 150 um i'm gonna mix a lot of mortar in it too so you know it's gonna be worth it my brother he could probably borrow it um yeah stuff like that i i don't have a problem with it it did work it did break once but i think that was my fault because anybody that's ever put a starter in and there's a little shim you have to put in there there's a little shim in the flywheel and that goes on to the shaft of the not the motor, but the shaft of, you know, the thing spinning the barrel. And I had a bolt in there holding the shim in there. Well, the bolt came out. I must not have tightened it. And the shim popped out. I did find it, put it back in there, put the bolt down, cranked it, and I didn't have a problem since. So, yeah, it was working good. All right, well, let's wait for this to dry, and I'll show you what it looks like. So here we are, and... That, that that's my son trying to work out but now we have the patio and we got our pad for our grill lady dixon's gonna buy some pavers capstones and you know make this look pretty we did pour concrete right down in there so those aren't moving and the forms i left them on because i gotta instead of putting stakes down like i should have i put stone in there to hold it up now i gotta dig all the stone out so i can knock these out and pull them out but it looks good i mean the trees are already falling on there and making dirt and i'm sure somebody's already been on it but you know whatever it's hard i can walk on it you know 
I'm walking on it now. Do, 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 do. Um, pools of water. So, yeah, I, I hosed this down this morning. You know, it's going to be hot out, so you got to hose it down. So they say, I don't know, I'm not a professional. I did not put any brakes in there. Stress relief crack, you know, whatever they're called, because it's for a grill. I'm sure these roots will just like pop it up in the future, whatever. I, I got a sledgehammer. We can take it out if need be. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. Next time, definitely going to make my form, you know, level with where I want it so I can pull it nice and straight. I did learn that you trowel after it's like almost, you know, set. I, I read that if you could push your finger in, what was it? like a quarter inch that's when it's time to start troweling and i did a i did a broom finish you know pull the broom just to give it some grip because this here i told the guy i wanted it smooth and he's like it's gonna be slippery i'm like yeah how slippery it gets pretty it's pretty slippery so yeah that's it all right Oh, well, that's 1819 farmhouse and now i'm back onto the big project i did the inside now i gotta do the outside the inside is, you know, I got some scratch coat on there, and then I'm going to plaster it, and then that'll be done. But the the outside, that's going to be fun. I got to put new Bilco doors on there and stuff like that down in the basement. And I've never done that before either, so a lot of learning. A lot of learning. All right. Peace out, y'all.